Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Sunday and I have a random Walmart haul for you. This video is sponsored by Walmart. I'm a Walmart partner and I'm always looking for good things, good new discoveries. I have enjoyed my Walmart dresses so much this summer. One that I really loved and you guys really liked a lot is that Sofia Vergara. It's kind of almost like a waterprint leopard that one is still available i even saw it when i was in the walmart store so i will link that down below because that's definitely been one of my favorites it is it's perfect and then i've got a new one on right now and then another new one to show you i've got lots of other stuff i want to share too so let's start off with this dress it's from free assembly and we are having our first sunny day in like two to three weeks like we have had little patches of sunshine here and there but today is actually supposed to be a day we can go to the pool so john has gone to the gym and i'm doing this video and then we're going to go to the pool so i do have on a bathing suit put the picture up here it's really cool i love wearing it just with some black bottoms hopefully i'll get some footage today at the pool and be able to put in here too but what i like about this little dress is this little detail right here. Any little thing like that just adds something. And of course, I love a good A-line dress that hits right above the knee. It's just perfect. So this is very similar to the dresses, you know, that we've been wearing this summer where it looks good with flats, flip-flops. You can wear wedges. I just put these little clear shoes on just because, in my opinion, everything looks better with a heel and these go with everything but i would probably wear this with either my black flip-flops or a pair of wedges but let me see I'll show you the back i really like it i was scared it was going to be too big but i think it's perfect it doesn't have pockets which in some cases is a good thing because sometimes pockets can kind of affect the way it hangs and your width right here but I really think it's pretty. I think it's a great little dress, like for every day. This is the kind of dress I used to love when I was a young mom, and I would just buy it in every color, and I'm pretty much the same way now. When I like something, I buy it in every color, and I hope you like it. So I'm gonna try on the next dress, and I'll be right back. Here is the next one. This is the first time I've tried these on. So this is very much like other dresses we've been wearing this summer. This one is a little bit longer. It's straight, not A-line, so it's not as fitted right here. I have not washed this. I will probably wash and dry, and that's going to make it kind of, you know what I mean, like a little bit more body hugging, but really it's very, very soft, and I don't think it's going to take a lot, you know. As soon as you wear this, it's going to kind of break into your body shape. You could actually do a lot with this dress. Because of the slightly longer length, you could belt it, wear it to maybe some more places, maybe like church with like a nice little denim jacket over it. You have more possibilities. You teachers out there, you may love this as a just a good little dress to wear to work. I always pay attention when I'm in the checkout or pickup line, checkout line, pickup line. I pay attention to what the teachers are wearing, and I think this would be something good. And I just thought it would be good just as an everyday dress. A lot of times, like I've told you, I put things like this on when I get home. I'm not going to sit around my house with jeans on or dress pants or like a really... One of my really, like that leopard dress, I probably would not sit in that all day. I would come home and take it off so I can wear it again, and I would put something like this on. Or, let me show you a new pair of pajamas that I got. I know you're so tired of seeing pajamas, but I was in Walmart. I was going to get my steaks, and right when I go down that aisle, the pajamas and everything are right on the left, right before I make the right to the steaks. And I saw these. They did not have a small I got the mediums and I still love them. So hold on, I'll be right back. Here they are. I wore them last night and I took some, a little bit of footage. My hair is wet with no makeup. So I'll put that in here, but love them. I do think the small probably would have fit me better, but they did not like fall off of me or anything. And look how pretty these are. They're 
I cannot tell one bit of difference in the quality in these than something I would have gotten at any, you know, more expensive retailer. So it's a good little zebra print and it has the yellow piping. Just really cute, a little bit more conservative than I'm used to wearing, which came in handy because I was sitting on my back porch and my neighbor in the back started talking to me. So I was able to just get up, I had shoes on, and go over there and talk to her and pet her dog and everything. So that is one good thing about these. I felt good in them. I didn't feel like it was so skimpy. My bra wasn't hanging out or anything like that. And just so soft. Before I forget, today I have on a lip oil. This one is the Revlon Kiss Glow Lip Oil. And the color is... 009 Bouncy Beige. I have been on the lip oil. Oh my goodness, you guys. Sassy is, let me see. They will stop at nothing. What are you doing, Sassy? You're not scratching your claws on my new beach bag, are you? What are you doing, Daddy? <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, I've been on the lip oil mission and we will get into that in a future video. This one is, I would say it's pretty. It's not what I like. It's not as balmy. I like the lip oils that aren't slicky. They're more balmy and they're almost, I can't say sticky, thick and balmy is my favorite. And this isn't like that, but it is, is still pretty. I have it on with the Totally Toffee, which I love. And then this is another celebrity fragrance that is it's rated up there. This is many, many people's favorite. And it is the Sophia by Sophia Vergara. And I'm not going to wear this today because it's not a pool scent. They say it is a combination of Chanel Coco Mademoiselle and La Vie Espelle by Lancome. And it I sprayed it today. I did a little sample stick. Ooh, it's going to get on me. It is beautiful. It is very sexy. It is not very strong, but yet is a true perfume. This would be something if it's very sophisticated. That's what I would say. It's, but not in a aldehydic or alcohol or rosy or grandma-ish type way. It's still young and I don't know, I keep wanting to say bouncy. It's still young and light, like flirty, but it's a true, just like, just like La Vie Belle. It's just, or La Vie Belle. It's just like that. Or to me, it's more like that than it is the Chanel. I am not a big Chanel lover as far as fragrances go. To me, this is more like a Lancome fragrance, but it is very good. So I've shown you this many times before. This is a repeat from last year. My last one, this came apart because a lot of times I attach my hair clips and all kinds of stuff to the handles. So this is my beach or pool bag. And it is also just a great size, even if you just want to use it as a summer tote. I always love totes like this with a maxi dress. I don't know, that's just to me like the perfect outfit with flip-flops. A maxi dress with flip-flops, and I mean like thin ones like Javianas, and a good tote like this is just so summertime. And I saw this one. I think one of you even sent this to me. It comes in so many colors. I always want to order black, but I have learned about black things at the pool and at the beach. They just absorb all the heat and even my flip-flops I have to hide like under the chair. But I just think that that is so pretty. It's a little bit bigger than I usually need, but you may like a bigger tote. Especially if you are still like going on vacation or something. But I know when I had, you know, all of the stuff, what is that? When I had all of the stuff in my bag, like goggles and Barbies and um, diving sticks and snacks and everything, I needed a bigger bag. I actually needed a bigger bag than this. And the next thing I have to show you is kind of a dupe, I guess. This is one of my travel bags that I bought before COVID. 
and then I just started being able to use and I love it. It is just, it has the best like pockets. I love this thing back here. Just pop myself in the face. I love this thing because it goes over like the suitcase thing. Like if you have a carry on, like you can have a carry on suitcase and then you can, you know, they allow you one more thing. And what I did actually is I put my, I think I had my black Chanel bag and I put that in here. So I had it all together and I just love it. But this was expensive. This was kind of like a splurge for me. So I saw this one. This is available in many colors and it will look better once I get it filled out. But this also has this really cool like makeup bead type case up here. I would say toiletries. So this has a zipper. You can put things down in here. This has a zipper and then has the pockets on the inside. And this also has the slip right here. So you can put this on your carry-on suitcase, the roller, what am I trying to say? The handle. And then these are pockets. So these would be good like, you know how like when you're at the airport, you always need the same things, your ID, your wallet, things like that. But it allows you to keep it with you. It has these pockets and then it also has the strap. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. Loving that and I think it's a good, it's no, no boundaries, it was not expensive. I think that's a good thing to try just to see if you even like something like this. And you know, I have kind of like a little hat fetish in the summertime. I have to wear a hat to the pool always. I've always had to wear a hat like to the pool, the water park, whatever. And I do like visors. The bad thing about visors is your part still gets burnt. And for some reason I get, if it's tight enough, to stay on, the pool might not be as bad, but in the on the beach, if it's tight enough to stay on, it leaves a bad mark on my head. So I've been kind of experimenting with other hats. And this is like that lifeguard style hat. These are so good because they really shade like your chest and your shoulders. And it's available in many colors. There's like a really colorful one, but I liked this black. I thought, okay, cool. This is a good way for me to have a black hat, but it not be as hot. How much it like shades you. It really does. It's almost like sitting under an umbrella. I like that it doesn't have a lot of stuff on it. It is just really plain Jane, like in the best way. And it's time and true. I think it was on sale. I think the first dress I had on was on major sale. This is on major sale. And then some of the bags that I'm gonna show you, I think maybe that bag was on like a major sale too. And then last but not least, I wanted to remind you of these finds that I have found over the summer. This bag is just so cute. The fact that it's black, but it's still like a wicker bag makes it just really chic looking. It's a great bag. And then I've shown you these so many times you're sick of it, but the pink one that looks like a little Fendi baguette. And then here is the natural. It comes in a gold color and a burgundy wine type color. And then this morning I was on the website. I was ordering some stuff for Will for school and we just switched him to Brooks room and we're setting up his desk and everything and I was ordering some things and I, <laughs> I was looking at the sales stuff, went into the bags and there's another bag that I wanted to show you and I'll put a picture up here and I will link it, but I thought it was really cool too. Hey guys, I hope you saw something you like. Thank you to Walmart for sponsoring this video and thank you to you for being here and I will see you guys. This video is gonna go up Tuesday, but I will see you tomorrow on Monday. See you then, bye-bye.